When I decided to go full-time with my braiding career, I opted to work from home because there were no salon suites available on my side of town. So I converted my formal dining room into a space you see here. So if you wanna see how I built this at-home salon pretty inexpensively, make sure you stay tuned. So today I'm taking you on a little tour of my home salon. The area you see here is what used to be my formal dining room. When we built this house, my dream was to have a formal dining area. I even waited a year to get the tables that I wanted because it was on back order. Of course, what do you think happened? I never used the space. So when I decided to go full time with my braiding business, I opted to convert this space because one, it was a space I already owned and paid for that was essentially vacant. Two, I really wanted to work from home. And three, I already had clients who came to the house part time anyway. So I figured why not? I boxed up my table, but I kept my buffet and a few chairs for seating. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by any of the brands I mentioned. I will leave links to the items you can purchase online below. Starting with the entryway, I'm standing from the view of the front door. To my left of the entryway is the entry table where I keep business cards and thank you cards. I encourage everyone to leave their cards because you never know who might need their services. This bowl here is filled with free samples clients can help themselves to. And I love candles, so most of the time I will always have this one lit. Directly above the table is some basic wall decor, the mirrors I've had for many years along with the candle holders. The picture, in fact, I get so many compliments on. I actually picked this beauty up at my local Ross. Now turning around facing the door, the chair in the back there is my original OG chair, which is now my second chair. I only use it if someone wants to rent it or when my assistant is available to help me take on more clients. Behind the chair I have some stackable storage bins I got from Ikea. I keep items in there that I don't have to reach for often, so on top of them I can store tools for when I'm working. Next to both of the chairs, I have a power supply mounted so that I can easily plug in tools or if clients need to access a power supply easily. Moving on, in the back left corner here is my desk area. The dresser you see there is from Ikea where I store tools like rollers and flat irons and beads. The boxes you see on top are the monthly subscription snack boxes I get from Amazon. My computers and printer, of course. I don't like clutter, so you see I have more bins stored underneath the desk along with a large bin I got from Ikea, which I use for trash. On the wall in the corner is where I hang my spool racks when they are not in use. And the eight boxes you see on the table stacked are all the jars of Shine and Jam. If this is a product that you use, a good way to save money is to sign up for their monthly subscription service. They give you a decent discount for subscribing and sometimes they have bulk order promotions. Next to the boxes is my heated sanitizer. It only works for metal and heat resistant tools. Next we have my clean towels. I got the black ones in the back there from Amazon. These are the bleach safe ones. And wedged between the dresser and the desk are some more storage bins. The ones with the black tops I got on sale at Home Depot for like seven bucks. The gray ones I got at Walmart um, after Christmas sale for like four bucks. The tall dresser is my main workstation. The caddies in the back are where I keep my main tools and products. I got those from the container store. I keep my cleaning supplies close by on the side there. I always keep a towel on top of my workstation so my combs and tools aren't sliding around, falling off, or making a lot of noise. Above on the wall is my dry erase board where I keep track of all my daily activities and next to it is a nail polish holder I got from TJ Maxx where I store a lot of my smaller tools and products. Both mirrors you see on the wall I got from Ross. I really wanted floor mirrors, but I decided that wasn't the best option because of the molding on the wall. The dressers again from Ikea, I use to store leftover hair. I keep everything organized so I can find what I need easily. Most of the drawers have these adjustable dividers I got from Amazon. 
In front of my main workstation is my sitting hair dryer. My hubby actually found this one for me on Facebook Marketplace. I think he only paid like 50 bucks for it. And in the chair is a pillow and a booster for my little clients. On the side, I have a TV table for clients to place their belongings and another power supply behind it so they can easily access it. Directly in front of my chair is the area you guys are most familiar with. This is my buffet cabinet, which I use for more storage. On the wall is the TV, the little flower mirrors I actually found at Dollar Tree years ago. On top of the buffet, I have a few of my awards displayed with one plant that I can barely keep alive and a flower arrangement I put together from the Dollar Tree also. The little monkey you see there is Melvin. He keeps eyes and ears on everyone and plus my little clients love to hold him during their appointments. The pictures on the wall were a gift from my mother. I believe she found them thrifting, so that was a steal. And here we have my square terminal. I use this for client checkouts. I love it because I can log all of my sales here. And as a safety precaution, I no longer accept cash. So it's convenient for my clients to check out with, with their cards or devices. There's so many benefits to using this system. And of course I have another candle and some tissues. Here is where I keep all of the complimentary snacks and drinks. The fridge I actually got for free from a college dorm dump where students who live out of state leave their things behind because they can't take them with them. So that was a major steal. This gate is probably one of the best things I've ever bought from Amazon. I have two dogs, Russell, my Pomeranian, and Mario, my lab mix. They are my super sweet boys and most of my clients adore them, but can be a huge distraction for me while I'm working because they will keep harassing everyone for love and attention. I also have a few clients who are very afraid of dogs, so having the gate up helps them feel safe and secure. Next to the gate, I have more storage bins where I keep most of my hair, the braiding hair for the most part, and I got these from my local big lots. And last, we have our guest bathroom. This is where I store my hot water kettle. I have a plant here. I think I got it from Five Below, um, so it's not real. <laughs> um, I stopped washing hair um, because of the thing that happened last year, but I do still have all my hookups for it. This is the Shampoo Buddy. You can get this off of Amazon or on the Shampoo Buddy website. It's detachable, so this is what I used to use to wash hair with and I converted the sink with the nozzle on the front so that it could have a hose on it. So I just keep the hose on and it has a lever that I can switch it back and forth with. Behind me is another very old storage cabinet that I've had for many years where I keep more supplies. And on the back of the door, I have some capes and the broom and that is the laundry hamper where I put all of my dirty towels. The decor on the wall here is actually the broom my husband and I jumped over for our wedding. So that completes the tour you guys. I've actually wanted to do this video for a long time but never got around to it. I wanted those of you who were thinking about working from home to see it was possible to provide a clean safe working environment for you and your clients. I also wanted you guys to see this before I move to my new studio in the next coming weeks. That's right, VLS Hair and Braid School is moving on out of here to a new larger commercial space. This search started over a year ago, so I'm about to tear up right now just thinking about it. I'm so excited to have more space to serve more clients, host hands-on trainings, and build a new product line. None of this would be possible without the support of each and every one of you. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and joining the rest of us on this amazing journey. Stay tuned for the tour of our new Braided Beauty Studio. I'll be so excited to share it with you. As always, if you found this video helpful, thumbs it up and tell a friend. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!